God's good idea. God had an idea. It was not a new idea. He had always had this idea, right from when he created the world. It was his own special idea. It was in his heart. It was part of him. This was God's idea, to go and be with the people he had created on earth. It would be like sending light into a very dark place. It would have to be a special light. After all, it would be God on earth, God with people. God's idea was a good one. It was an idea full of love. By sending himself to be with people, he would be giving new life to the earth, new life to the people, a new special kind of God life. But how would God do that? God had already appeared to people over hundreds of years in many different ways. In the burning bush, as a great wind, as a still quiet voice whispering in your ear. Even as a hand writing on a wall. But this was to be different. This was to be God living on earth. This was a big idea. God's big idea needed something special, special but small, a baby. That's how God would show himself to people, a baby. But not any baby. This would be God's son, created by his spirit, born of God, and those who saw the baby and loved him, they would see God. They would know that God was with them. They would know that God loved them. For many years, God told people about his idea. He told his prophets and his priests and the kings and the ordinary people. He told them that one day he would send a special person to be with them. He gave them lots of clues, like you do, when something exciting is going to happen. The people wrote them all down, but they didn't really understand them. And after a while, they got tired of waiting and wondered if perhaps God had forgotten his good idea. And then, when it was just the right time, the perfect moment, God spoke to a man called John. Soon, very soon, I will send a special person into the world. Get everybody ready for it. He will be like a light for the world. Not the kind of light that comes from a lamp or a torch but the kind of light that shines out of bright, happy faces, an inside light, a special light. And so God reached out to human beings. He sent himself to live an ordinary life with an ordinary family. His own son, a little boy, sent to the world that God himself had made. The same spirit of creation that had hung the stars in the sky and had made the mountains high and the rivers wet. That spirit was made into a little baby, a little boy born to an ordinary mum and an ordinary dad, but also the son of God. John did what God told him. He called everyone to get ready. Get ready for what has always been God's plan. It's been a long time coming, but it's going to happen just as God said it would. All the clues are going to fall into sense now. 
the people are going to get an amazing display of godness on earth even though no one can really see god completely we will catch a glimpse only thing was the people were thinking about other things they were busy making money and fighting wars and cleaning houses and playing football in the streets and those who did remember what god had promised well they were looking in other places they thought the clues meant something else and they certainly weren't looking for a baby how ordinary just one of us he can't be god's good idea they said some of them even thought that john must be god's good idea seeing as how he had spoken with god but it couldn't be a baby a baby who wasn't even going to grow up to be a rich prince not even a mighty warrior and so they saw god but they didn't recognize him they didn't expect god to want to be with humans so they didn't even notice his coming they turned away from god's good idea they carried on as if nothing had happened but not everyone did some people looked at the baby and the man that the baby grew up into and they saw the goodness in him those people listened when he taught them about god and his love for people and they understood a little more about god they saw that here was a way of being with god on earth and they called him emmanuel which means god with us even though his parents had called him jesus <laughs>